In Philemon 6, we read, I pray that you will be active sharing your faith so that you'll have a full understanding of every good thing we have in Christ Jesus. The phrase full understanding is one word in the Greek. It's epigenosko. It's the most intimate knowledge, word for knowledge, in the New Testament. There are some things about God we will not fully know unless we're sharing our faith. How does that happen? Well, if you share your faith, people are going to ask you questions. You may not know the answer. So you can dig for those answers, and you're going to grow. You're going to see that your faith is way more complex and more interesting than you ever first imagined. If you share your faith, people are going to scrutinize your life. You'll get to grow because you'll have to see, is my life growing to match the very gospel that I'm proclaiming? If I'm living a life that's incongruous with the gospel message, people aren't going to listen to me. The other thing, too, is I'm going to grow because I'm going to see that I am participating in God's big plan, and I'm going to see God, he'll keep showing up. I have a dear friend who pastored a very large church, and he had a man on his board who was an engineer and had created his own company. And in that company, um, my friend said, I knew he was a genius, I knew he had a great company, but I'd never actually seen it for myself. So this man on his board said, why don't you come and visit my plant, and afterwards we'll go to lunch and we'll talk church business. My pastor friend said he couldn't believe the genius of this guy. He started the company from scratch. They employed over 500 people. And when he saw the genius, and when he saw the personalness of his friend, because he knew every employee by name, asked some specific questions. Hey, George, wasn't your bowling team in the championship last night? How'd that go? Hey, Sylvia, it's good to have you back after your maternity leave. Did you bring some pictures of the baby, and how's it going? My friend said, I knew this guy for years at church, but I never really got to know him till I got to know him in his workplace. You can know God for years at church, but you'll never really get to know him till you get to know him in his workplace. And so consequently, we grow in intimacy with God, and we grow in our understanding of what it means to be a Christian whose life is infused with purpose when we engage in God's missional purpose in the world.